Hey, Bam, I know there's the thought that eventually the offense would come around. And you've spoken after the last few games that the thought was a matter of time. How frustrating is it that maybe it's taking longer than you guys anticipated for it to come around? Uh, super frustrating because, you know, everybody wants to make shots. You know, uh, you know, everybody, every time they take a shot, they want it to go in. And uh, they're not. Uh, you know, I kind of see this as growing pains. In the end, it'll help us. You know, we'll learn how to fight through adversity when we're not making shots. And then the other side of the ball, um, defensively, maybe not where you guys had been also. Is that just the two things sort of bleeding into each other? Yeah. I mean, you know, we get stops and run in transition. You know, offense was great. We can't get stops, and we got to play half court. And uh, <clears throat> we're already, you know, not making uh, – Shots to the magnitude that we've been having, been been shooting them. Uh, you know, it can be a little frustrating for everybody. But uh, you know, one thing about this group, we're that we're mentally tough, and uh, we're gonna keep fighting through this. Thank you, Bam. Next, we have Tim Reynolds. Hey, Bam. Um, th there's probably a few guys on this team that are wondering if they're still gonna be here in a couple days which is sort of the nature of the deadline anyway. Do, do you know if, if that's affecting guys in a negative way? Do you, or do, you, do you know if guys are getting tight or wondering or distracted by the unknown? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, it is one of those things where uh, business is business. But at the end of the day, a lot of guys got families and uh, – you know, they want to be here. They, they want to win. And, uh, you know, we just business at the end of the day, man. Uh, like, we, we had one of our previous teammates on, on the opposite team today. Uh, you know, everybody knows his business at the end of the day. But uh, I feel like, yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of dudes that, you know, probably – you know, scrolling, scrolling on social media, and you know, people are probably saying, you know, you should be traded. You know, you got to be out of here. So, it, it's probably a lot of, you know, a lot of extra, extra weight on their shoulders than it should be. And I asked Kendrick this as well. You guys have won six in a row, won five in a row, won four in a row a couple of times. Now you've lost four. I think you lost five once. How brutal is this? Just the, these aren't just like gentle ups and downs. These have been wild ups and downs for you guys. How tough is it to keep rolling with the punches kind of as this season's gone along? Keep taking one step in front of the other. Uh, you know, I always uh, recite Kobe when it, when it comes to adversity. You know, one foot in front of the other. You know, take the punches. At the end of the day, man, it's always sunlight at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, Ben. Uh, next, we have Cristo Saltas. Hello, Bam. Hope you are doing well. What was the most frustrated part of tonight's game except the, the result? And how good for you was to see Jay Crowder around? Uh, well, one, it wasn't good to see Jay Crowder. Uh, you know, you, you knew he was going to come. We knew he was going to try to come in here with a chip on his shoulder. Uh, but... <clears throat> The first question, you said it was frustrating on the loss. Uh, it was just frustrating because you know, we go out there and, uh, you know, put our bodies on the line every night, and, you know, to keep having consecutive losses. Uh, it's frustrating for all of us because we want to win so bad. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, take the punches and keep taking one step in front of the other, you know. Um, next, we have Leonardo Torres with El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Bam. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well, Bam. Bam, with four losses in a row, what have you identified 
that you need to improve as a team to win? Uh, we, we just need to learn how to win when we're not making shots. That's, that's been a big part of this season. Uh, you know, we just got to learn how to make shots through through the adversity and uh, and get get stops. 